Hi everyone, this is Emmy. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet three garments from one pattern. I'm going to show you how to do a headband, a beanie hat, and this pebble stitch ear flap hat. So let's get started. If you're not receiving notification of videos from the channels you subscribe to, on the left side of your screen there are three bars. Click on those, scroll down to subscriptions and click on that, and that will open a window with all the recently posted videos. Well, to change the speed of a video, click on the little gear box below the video, and then click on speed, and then choose the speed that you would like to watch at. I'm working with Red Heart Super Saver Yarn and a 6mm crochet hook. I'm going to demonstrate Newborn and so I'm going to chain 32. Slip stitch to join, being careful not to twist the chain. Chain 2. Double crochet in each stitch around and at the end of the row you will still have 32 stitches. Double crochet, yarn around the hook, insert through the stitch, pick up the yarn, pull it through, pick up the yarn, pull it through two of the loops, pick up the yarn, pull it through two. So go ahead and double crochet in each stitch all the way around. Okay, I worked all the way around. At the end of the row, slip stitch to join. And now I'm going to work the pebble stitch. So I'm going to chain one and turn. And I'm going to single crochet in that same slip stitch position. And in the next stitch, I'm going to make a double crochet. So the pebble stitch is alternating single crochet and double crochet. Single crochet and double crochet. So I'm going to work all the way around working the pebble stitch. Okay, I worked all the way around and because I started with a single crochet I ended with a double crochet and I'm going to slip stitch to join in that single crochet. And I'm in a single crochet so the pebble stitch alternates working a double crochet in the single crochet of the previous row and a single crochet in the double crochet of the previous row. So this is a single crochet so I'm going to chain two and I'm going to turn. And that's a double crochet, so I'm going to single crochet in that stitch. Double crochet in the next stitch. Single crochet in the next. And I'm going to repeat that across the row. Double crochet. Single crochet. Double crochet. Single crochet. And I'm going to go all the way across the row. And because I started with a double crochet, I'm going to end with a single crochet and I'm going to slip stitch to join in the top of the double crochet and then I'll come back and show you how to do the next row. Okay, I worked across the row. I ended with a single crochet and I'm going to find the top of that chain two and I'm going to slip stitch to join. Chain one and turn and this was a single crochet so I'm going to chain one additional stitch because that should be a double crochet in this row, single crochet in the next stitch, because you can see that that's a double crochet, and this is a single crochet, so I'm going to double crochet in that stitch. And then I'm going to repeat across the row, single, double, single, double. Okay, so work all the way around and I'm going to slip stitch to join. Chain two and turn. Double crochet in each stitch all the way around. Okay, so double crochet all the way around. Okay, I worked all the way around that row. The end of the row, slip stitch to join 
and if you wanted to make a headband you would just fasten off and that would make a headband but now to continue with the hat I'm going to chain one and turn I'm going to single crochet in that same stitch double crochet in the next stitch single crochet in the next and I'm going to continue across the row with the pebble stitch double crochet single crochet double and single okay so I'm going to work around I'm going to slip stitch to join and I'm going to continue to add rows until this measures approximately four inches okay I've worked as many rows as I need for the hat and I'm going to work in a spiral to close the top of the hat so that means no slip stitch to join and no turning I'm going to single crochet into three stitches one two three I'm going to skip the next stitch and then I'm going to single crochet in the next I'm going to repeat that until the top of the hat is closed so skip one two three skip one two And now that the hole is almost closed, I'm going to fasten off. Thread the yarn end into a yarn needle, weave through that last row of stitches, and then pull to close up the top of the hat and weave the yarn end back and forth into the finished work. And there you have the beanie. And now I'm going to show you how to make it into an ear flap hat. There's my fasten off stitch and I'm going to fold the hat so that this is at the very back and then I've counted four stitches one two three four I'm going to insert my hook in the next stitch attach my yarn and chain one and now I'm going to single crochet in the next six stitches one two three four five and six like that. I'm going to chain one. I'm going to work back across the row and I'm going to single crochet in each one of these stitches. Like that. Chain one and turn. Single crochet in each stitch across the row. And I'm going to repeat one more row. Now I'm going to reduce for the end of the ear flap. So I'm going to chain one. I'm going to skip the next stitch, single crochet in the next, single crochet in the next. This is the second to last stitch. I'm going to skip that stitch and I'm going to single crochet in the last stitch. And I'm going to repeat that. I'm going to chain one. I'm going to skip and I'm going to single crochet. And that will form the ear flap. To make the tie, I'm going to add an additional strand of yarn. So I'll bring both of those through and I'll chain 12. And fasten off. And there's how that looks. So now I'm going to turn this over. And there's my center back. And there's the stitch where I'm going to join to make my next ear flap. So attach the yarn, lock it in place, single crochet in the next six stitches, chain one and turn. I'm going to work back and forth across this till I work the same ear flap as on this side. So I'm going to go off camera and do that and I'll come back and show you. Okay, I finished that second ear flap and then the hat is finished and you could just leave the ends of the ties like that or you could add some pom-poms or tassels so that's it that's how easy it is to crochet a headband a beanie or an ear flap hat all from the same pattern if you enjoyed this video please click like please subscribe if you haven't done so yet and please comment below i really appreciate comments and so does youtube that's how they rate videos according to how many comments and likes they get. If you enjoyed this video, please click like and subscribe if you haven't done so yet.
So thanks for watching. Bye for now.